What a day, everybody. I'm excited for this. What, what the frick is it? There it is. There we go. There's the live stream. I lost it. I lost it. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, back in the maze, everyone. Back in the maze. It's been a while. It's been too long. It's been too long. Who's in the chat? That's what I'm curious about. Texan Hunter, Sad Goose, Adonis Dudley, Rex Slash. Am I getting faster at all? Am I getting faster at doing this? That's I'm, I'm kind of curious. Um, to see what you think. Uh, Unbreakable, Nasty Snipes, Tom Otto, Bastion, did I say that already? Fortnite Gaming, Dakota Salmon, Dummy Iso, Hunter Stockman, Woodworking Beagles in the house. How's it going, man? Timothy Descato, Moose, Moose, Max Dubois, uh, Tyranno King, Ian, Ty, didn't say Ty, there we go. John Gobble, that's a fun name to say. John Gobble, Chaos Causer, uh, Jonathan, Kacharski, Cheesehead, Good deal. We got a bunch of stuff. Ian, Ian, I don't this. D12. It's your birthday tomorrow. Well, happy birthday. Early, early time. Ballistico. All right. Matthew Towns is here. Ospago. Hello, hello. D12. Jace Games. During the stream. I did not. You liar. Anywho, everyone. I think, I think we're all prepared. I got a full inventory of gear. Well, I guess a sl almost full inventory of gear. I thought these fish would be big enough that it wouldn't be worth having three rods out anyway, so we're going to have our, our best two rods out, everybody, and we're also going to try to chase down a shark early on, so let's uh let's go ahead and give it a try. We might, we might skip some days early on. We're just going to have to find out. I don't know. I haven't been here in a while. You think, you've been, you think I'm like keeping tabs on this place? No. I mean, keeping tabs. Where's that? Hey, hey, where's the likes, everybody? I see you. I see all of you. 47 people here it says maybe 39 i don't know it gives me two different concurrent viewers what's that about 
I got one says 48, now it says 50, and the other one says 32. I don't know which one to believe. Woodworking Beagle's now a member. Right on, man. Thank you, thank you. Woodworking Beagle. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Becoming another member. He was already a member. I'm sure of it. All right, we got the stupid Congo boat. I forgot to switch it out. Should have switched it out with the other one. I forgot. Dang it, it was the one thing I forgot about. What's your favorite fish in the game? Ooh, Goliath Tigerfish, of course. It's my favorite fish in life. And it followed me to the game. All right, let's get this dumb boat. This boat's so hard to steer, you can't see anything in it. All right, let's see how loud this is. The front of the boat covers up like everything that's in front of you. Can't see a dang thing. All right, here we go. You can't get the pack to go. You can't get the pack to go. What do you mean the pack to go? You think you think I'm using a pack right now? Man, we worked our way up. We worked our way up, bro. We're uh, we're moving out right now. Moving out of this deep section. I guess what we could do. I know there's some arapaima around here. There's some arapaima in these little uh, fingers of this area. But uh, I was curious. I was curious about switching to evening time and throwing... Is there a way out of here? Oh, God. I don't think there is. Dead end. Dead end. Who the frick led us over here? He nil? There should be an opening here. It would, be, uh, it would be nice if there was, like, a rock or something right here that could, like, rocket us over that. That'd be nice. You think it's possible if we hit that at full speed, we'd, like, go over it? Now I want to try it. Now I want to try it. We're, uh, everyone came here for fishing, and yet what we're doing is, uh, trying boat stuff. All right, come on, Henil. Get your alien spaceship stuff ready. Tally ho! Nope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh god. He you know we're not even in the water anymore. Okay, we tried it. We tried it. I had to try it. If I wasn't trying, who the heck is gonna try this if not me? Yeah, F's in the chat. F's in the chat. Can we turn this boat. Oh god. Oh god. We're off to such a great start right now. Simulation gamer with the dollar. Thank you so much, dude. Liked, liked. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna need more, more likes to fix my boat. I saw that. It was a new update for Fishing Planet. It requires likes to fix your boat anymore. Okay, there's a big log behind us. Okay, we're gonna be able to turn now. Maybe we should have a map up here. There we go. I can actually see where we can go. All right, turn this bad boy, Heenil. Turn it. God dang it, Heenil. All right, we got it. We got it. I'm. Uh, I was so surprised. I'm actually seeing the uh, the the number of people in the in the video going up. I'm very surprised by that. I figured we would have lost five people by now waiting for me to turn this boat around. <laughs> All right. Well, we went to uh, the completely wrong way. Ty Gillett, how to get levels at level 26 by catching fish, man. You gotta catch those fish. Uh, I mean, think about it. E E S S, right? Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, San Joaquin. You're level 26. Which one should you be at? Oh, man. I don't even hit the sides. I'm one of those bowlers that, that plays without the uh, those gutter guards on. It's because I, I don't even need them. I never hit the sides. I just go straight down the middle all the time. Free rod or something? My rod broke and I only have 300 bucks. Uh, nope. 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 There's not. You just... You just gotta get good. Just kidding. No. Didn't work for me either. Aw, oh, dang it, Mark. That's okay. There's still gotta be dreamers like us out in the world. We're the ones that get stuff done. Derek is here. How's it going, Derek? Good to see you, man. Zacchaeus is here. My own brother showed up to the stream. My goodness. Now you know it's special. Now you know it's special, everyone. All right, this is where we used to, uh, YouTube wolf boys in the chat, in the game. This is where we used to catch the, the sharks in the past. Are we gonna get them today, though, is the question. That is the question, everyone. Everyone's asking it. I tell you what. 
skip to the skip to the highlight gotta up the drag here up the drag all right sharks let's give this a little bit of time here got some sardines i tell you what we didn't have with us we didn't bring blood we used to catch those sharks on blood all the time but i i just unlocked these amazonian sardines so i was like i gotta give them a shot gotta give them a shot you know do you like baseball? I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of baseball, but I'm not against baseball. Um, I, I just, yeah, that was just never one of those sports I, like, super enjoyed, but that's okay. Everyone's got their thing, right? Cash is here. Cash, how's it going? What's up, Clayton says? Hello, hello. Shark boy, hello. Best leg for level 12. Man, oh man, if I'm not a broken record, I don't know what I am. E-E-S-S, -S, everybody. It is the answer to all questions. Goodness gracious. You can see Nightbot right there. Nightbot's even trying to help out. He's he's repeating it as well. E-E-S-S, -S, Emerald Lake, Everglade, St. Croix, San Joaquin, no matter what level you are in the game. What? Where should you go? Where should you go? What should you do? You should be at one of those places, everyone. That's why we made an acronym. I, uh, I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I don't want to... I. I don't want to get, you know, uh, uh, spiritual here, you know, but, uh, the fishing planet gods, they came down to me. They handed me a tackle box full of spiritual advice when it comes to fishing planet, when it comes to fishing planet. And, uh, and within that tackle box of, of, of guiding light within fishing planet were the letters E E S S. And it was in that moment I knew this was the answer to all questions, everybody. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. All right, all right. I've been trying this Amazonian sardine for at least like 30 seconds now. I'm gonna get some blood here because I forgot to, oh, I just bought, it's got 60 blood because everyone needs lots of blood like that. We got 60 sharks coming in our future. Let's throw some blood on here. I don't even know if this is a good time of day to be chasing after a shark. I feel like I used to chase after him in the mornings is the problem. But we're trying it right now. Trying to unlock blue crab. My friend gifted me the Amazonian Maze Pass. Where is the best spot to grind XP? Oh, well, there's lots of different areas. How much does a good shark give you? I, I don't remember, honestly. But if we catch one, if we catch one, then uh, I'll be able to show you. I do have a ginormous hook on here right now. Got the 14 ot cap and hook, which might be too big. Honestly, I've never caught one. Uh, this big last time we were at the maze we didn't even have the cap and hooks if we did then only the 10 -aught. um so we were just using like 10 -aught hooks so it was the biggest fish that we caught so uh if we caught one on this 14 knot i have a i have a feeling it would probably be a new pb everybody um but we'll have to see we'll have to see if we get one if it doesn't work out here that I uh, let's try to catch the smallest fish you have. Blood nose minnow on a huge rod. That would be interesting there. Sorry, I'm 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 losing the chat. A lot of our videos have been watching you for two years. My goodness gracious. Baden Perkins. Well thank you, thank you for your continued support. That is awesome to hear. This uh this shark shark spot's not uh you know I'm not seeing the big ripples in the water like I used to as well. Used to see big old ripples in the water where uh, they kind of give away their position, but I'm not seeing that right now. I might, uh, I might just toss out a little uh, bass lure and uh, move the old boat around, and uh, we'll see if we can find a good, a new location to toss some baits. What we're looking for is big, big splashes in the water. Big, big splashes in the water. I remember having a big fight with a Piraiba around here. We got some sort of fish on. Orinoco peacock? No, it's a croaker. Little silver croaker, fantastic. We're gonna throw that on a hook and throw it out for uh, for a shark. Slice it. And you guys were saying stuff like, my wife left me, my dog died, Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, San Joaquin, what do you want from me? I lost my job, my car broke down, what should I do? I'm about to be homeless on the street. E.E. -E. 
S S is the answer. I don't I don't know what else you want. It has a prof as a prophecy. It was as the prophecy foretold. E E S S. All right, we are looking for big splashes in the water. The, co the four commandments of fishing planet. E E S S. Captain. I'm going to a lake that my dad has got six pounders from. Nice. You know, that's subjective, you know. Six pounders. I'm assuming bass. Six pound bass is pretty nice, you know. But uh, if you were to say, like, uh, six pound catfish, you know, honestly, depending upon where you're fishing, that, that could be okay. But, you know, a catfish can be much bigger than that. And then, uh, oh. Talk about, uh, there's the riverboat over there. I don't know what we want to call that riverboat. The old Queen's ship. There has got to be a good spot for fishing around here. How much time did it take you to get this good? Uh, no time at all. Wolf! Thank you, thank you for it. So you try to catch a fighter shark. Oh yeah. Well, Halloween's gonna be fun this year, especially since, uh, might not even be in the US at that time, so we'll just find out. <laughs> he was he was born this good. Oh yeah. You know it, man. You know it. Alright, I'm really distraught that we're not seeing big splashes over here, because this was like my go-to shark spot, and it's not showing nothing. Not showing nothing today. What's going on there? Tell you what, tell you what we might do. We might head off and go find some other fish. Cause I know there's some other fish around here. Go find some Arapaima. We might uh, go check a few other spots to see if there's some sharks. I uh, I had like two different shark spots I would try. Let's go check out the other one, see if it's got anything over there. Do you post any hunting or fishing videos in real life? You know it, man. Every Friday. I try to post one every Friday. I'm going to have one. I had one last Friday. I had one. I think I had one the Friday before that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to have one this Friday as well. Um, so, yeah. Lots of fun. Lots of fun fishing stuff. Try to have one every Friday is what I'm going to try to do. We will see. It all depends on what Zachary and I are able to do the week before and, you know, whatever. 112 pound blue cat my goodness gracious that is a monster that is a monster bass and bluegill mainly makes your brain 10 times smarter i've heard it i've seen it eess has made uh made believers out of many people in fishing planet hello bz in her eye fishing videos yesterday we're right on youtube wolf boy appreciate it oh gosh what oslo hey you stop barking at me that dog he just thinks he is just the king of the world world revolves around him okay oh you know what we might not even be fishing at the right depth everybody Ah. Eh. I think they're both set to 48 is the thing. Let's throw this down. I'm also gonna throw this one out. Oh god, what happened? Okay, all right, I see what's going on here. Let's throw out this guy. It's got a 10 odd on here. Um, what, oh, let's see, let's see here. What's, what are you doing? What do you want? Huge cut bait. You barking at me? Hi, you. Hey, I'm looking at you. What are you doing over there? Oof. What is this song about to play? Hey you! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oof. Gotcha. <laughs> What's everyone doing, huh? What are they doing? Can you see him? Can you talk to him? You want to say anything? Yeah? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Are you helping me fish today? 
Yeah? Okay. There we go. Gotta help him out. Gotta help you out. There you go. There you go. Bye bye. All right. About to send markers, but you forgot that I hate markers. That's true. I hate receiving markers. <laughs> I put two. I just think this isn't a shark day, everybody. I think we better go chase some Amazonian uh, Arapaima is what we better do. I have got... What in the world just happened? I have got some humdingers and spots for uh, Arapaima as well. So uh, we are in good hands, everybody. Because, let's see here. That's the Trier spot. What about this? That's the Electric Eel spot. There's an Arapaima. I think the Arapaima spot was over here. I just didn't mark it. So let's head on over there. We got a lot of dry... If you've never been to Amazonian Maze, then you don't know that there is a lot of driving involved. So you better enjoy your boat, and you better have good visibility, otherwise you're gonna be running into all sorts of stuff, which is, uh... Which is a horrible thing that we brought this Congo boat because you can't see anything with this dang thing. But here we go. We're gonna go chase down some Arapaima now. You thought that was Oslo? That was Oslo. Zachary doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, he's me he's messing with us. I'm reading the chat and I'm not paying attention to my boat. Hitting bottom. Turn. Alrighty. So, I was busy in the Congo. Understandable. Out of all the boats in Fishing Planet, which one is the best? Well, I mean, you technically would want to say the con uh, the Congo boat because uh, it has rod holders on it, right? You can you can be out here. You can throw out your float rods, your bottom rods, throw it into the rod holders of your Congo boat. And, uh, and then you'll be good, which all their boats in Fishing Planet don't have that. So that's, that's a big deal. Oh my god, this boat bottoms out so bad. Um, but I always enjoyed the blue one that came with the Amazonian Maze. We are literally hitting the bottom, like, every time we get close to the side. Bobby Hill with a, with a tip. Thank you so much, Bobby. Weeping Willow is better than the Maze for grinding XP. Uh, I don't, I don't know, Shark Boy. I wouldn't think so. If you get into the right spot, you'd think that, uh, that this Amazonian maze would be the place to be. XP grind for Marone River, the big catfish, I would think. I don't know. Could be something better, though. Finally got, uh, okay. Decided to go out in the woods. We got uh, a carry to my airplane. caught a five-pound monster trout and a four-pound goldfish. Four-pound goldfish? You don't know how you got it, how it got there either? Well, most goldfish get there, just people releasing them, can't, can't deal with them anymore, right? Got too big, something like that. Couldn't, couldn't see them flush down the drain, so they just uh, put them in the creek in the backyard, and before they know it, got a little bit bigger, right? Still unlocked another kind of game changer, literally. Yeah, spotting with the scope's a big one, I agree. All right, what are we gonna be using here? Do you think they go after those uh, those Amazonian? We are two people away from 100 viewers, by the way. That's pretty exciting. Let's see if we can do it by George. Okay, let's see here. Where are, there is there, Pine. All right, Araku Minnow, large minnows. I'm gonna throw on some Araku Minnows then. And uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, let's do, let's uh, stick to the 10 on one, we'll throw a 12 on on the other. I'm not sure how much bigger they get. Someone in the chat will have to tell me if, uh, if they go after the, uh, we'll throw on a large minnow on the other one too. Just cause that's why I always caught them on in the past. In the giving mood today, Bobby Hill says. I think you just like hearing that Uzi go off, man. <laughs> the snack that smiles back, goldfish, that's right. That brings back, uh, memories. That and that darn, uh, cheesy, uh, dinosaur that used to sell, uh, macaroni. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bobby Hill. Appreciate it, man. Keisha Christian, hey, Bo, how's your day? My ba my day's going pretty well, although I wish I could catch some dang fish. All right, throwing this bad boy out. We're gonna, we'll try this spot for a little bit, and then I got some other spots, too. Oh, gosh, Bo dogs are barking. Dogs are barking.
But no, if you missed it, I, I would think Amazonian Maze would be better than the Weeping Willows. I mean, that's just kind of the way it goes with most places, other than the EESS thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, uh, from, for the most part, bigger fish give you more XP. Um, or, but that's not always the case, you know. A good old uh, Goliath tiger fish or something like that will give you quite a bit of XP in comparison to a Nile Perch, which is much bigger, which is, uh, you know, very similar in XP. Uh, in the waters, that's bad news. Bad news. Yeah, they're essentially a small carp. Um, I, I actually think goldfish are probably better than, uh, than carp in that way. You would think that, uh, if they stayed under, like, a foot in size, that a flathead catfish would come along and eat them. Um, versus a carp, which gets past 12 inches in size within, like, the first, like, year and a half. Then it's kind of too big. If y'all hit the like button, BZ's hub stream appears to... To more people, let's expand the fishing planet community. There we go, Zachary throwing in the facts. Throwing in the facts. More likes equals more peeps. That's that's what it is. He, they're all just waiting for me to do something amazing. I feel like Mr. Incredible. I just I just pictured you do something incredible, but you're just sitting here watching bobbers like some. I mean, I could sit there and watch bobbers if I if if that's what we were gonna do. They all came here for something cool. That's what that's what we're here to here to do. YouTube Wolf Boy just caught a pure Aiba, good deal. That's why I'm, I want to go after one of those too. New PB pure Aiba, very nice and and only a common one too, not even a trophy or unique. Man, man oh my. We're just gonna have to figure out what uh what sort of fish like these rainy days, everybody, because right now it's just looking pretty rough. And I don't know why I keep throwing this dang but uh bass bass jig everywhere. I don't even know why I have that equipped. Let's uh let's see here. Let's throw on a buzz bait. Maybe we'll find a find a nice sized bass or something in, in these waters over here. But we are making our way over to a good Arapaima spot. In fact, we might go try to get to Arapaima first and then come back for the bass. Uh, I can't say we went to Longview's Lake Spill and we caught nine fish. Six of them were hybrids between striped bass and white bass. And then we caught three two pound bluegill. My goodness gracious. Oh, I'm turning where I'm not supposed to be turning. This is what I get for reading the chat. I can't, I can't do both. I can't, I can't drive and read the chat evidently. You use the frogs. Yeah, the frogs are great. I like frogs. All right. Why are you... This boat is just doing such weird stuff. What are you doing, boat? All right. This is where I used to catch all the airpime in the past. What's going on? Let's see. Let's see. Come on now. And if we're not catching anything now in this spot, then I know it's it's part of the day. It's just not a good day for this type of fishing, I guess. We got the rod holders from the Congo boat. What is going on? What are you doing? Ooh, that's a big fish on the radar. Right at seven feet. My uh, bobbers are four feet down, so you'd think that would be all right. You would think, anyway. I'm gonna cast this buzz bait while it's already moving though. Cast this buzz bait while we're waiting. See if we can get any big fish to come for it. Got the big ol' uh, Tropicana, I believe. Tropicana casting rod here. Did not catch any big cats in Tennessee. Oh man. Just got a level six now, almost level 70 already. Good luck, man. Justin, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. These, uh, these all, uh, they're just going back and forth, dude. Just going back and forth. What's happening, Crystal asked. Well, we're just, 
We're just waiting for a big old air pirate to take it. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Come on, you. Come on, you. These should be max drag. I'm thinking this is a small one. We got the 12 aught hook on there, which means we probably could hook up with some smaller ones. Just because uh, it seems like when you have a bigger... Oh, we got two on actually now. Let's, let's get this other rod out and just make sure we got it hooked up. Good deal, good deal. All right, well, this is the stronger of the two, I believe. So we'll get that guy in here. Good deal, 133 pound air pima there. And oh golly, this one looks real small. What's going on here? Now that we only have the one rod, we can use our uh, tra trolling motor. Trolling motor. There we go. Little guy. Little guy. This is a young air pima. Oh, it's still an air pima. How about that? 116 pounds my goodness gracious all right top notch we're actually catching fish that actually feels pretty good <laughs> terrible xp two thousand dollars for an air pima that's just horrible 130 here in iceland right now my goodness just missed me giving out a bunch of money oh no what did i miss what did i miss i was uh, it would go to his in real life boat fun yeah you caught 100 plus walleye in Ohio. I, I had a bunch of friends actually go to Ohio uh, just a few weeks ago. And uh, and they caught a bunch too. I think they caught 18 in one day, something like that. So yeah. What's the best catfish rod setup? Oh God, I don't know. Heavy chasers are probably fine. I think that's what I was using back when I was fishing for catfish. But obviously there's lots of different catfish in the game. So it just depends on which ones you're fishing for. <sighs> oh god, nothing yet, nothing yet. <clears throat> With a crayfish, ooh, very cool. All right, let's throw these back out. At least we're still catching them. We're catching them. So that's 10 out there. It kind of makes me want to throw a 14 out on the other one just to see what happens. Because we did, we didn't catch up regular, uh, a regular one, regular old. Arapaima, it wasn't even a trophy or anything, so let's throw out a bigger hook. We'll see. Maybe 14 knots too big. We'll find out anyway. What's up, BZ? What what'd you miss? Not a whole lot, man. We're just fishing away. Just fishing away, dude. Finally catching you live, Blackster says. We're well, right on. Glad you're here. Benny Boy's here as well. Hi, Benny Boy. I don't want to sound like a broken record because then uh, then you're gonna think I'm gonna be saying something about EESS here but hey if you haven't hit the like button you know may, it, I, I'm starting to get you know uh, issues here I'm, I'm starting to think that I'm doing a real bad job you know I, I'm trying everybody you have to understand I, I am I am giving it my all right now uh, if you don't like it I understand you know just uh, when you finally do like it, you finally do like the video that we're making here, uh, you know, really appreciate it. Because like Zach said, more likes means more people, means more people in the BZ Hub. More people in the BZ Hub obviously means more time to work on videos, that sort of thing. Giving myself an advertisement here and everybody loves hearing that sort of stuff. Here we go, another Arapaima, young guy. Little, just a little guy. You just a little. Now we're like right on top of this rod. Let's reel in this uh, buzz bait here. Reel in this buzz bait here, and then uh, I won't be able to use the trolling motor again. Got a 488 pound Arapaima. My goodness, nice. Keeping the puppers happy. That's right. All righty. Is that a nibble? I don't know what to believe.
All right, throw that back up there. How's the weight loss journey going, Bo? You know, it's a little rocky. You know how it is. It's been raining like crazy, and I don't like running out in the rain. So every time it rains, we don't get to go outside. But I will say, for the past four, three, four days, Zachary, you you tell me. I, I, we, I've, Bjorn in Oslo and I have been out running. We've been running. We go down to an aqueduct that's nearby, and then we run in the aqueduct. The, the boys get to play in the water, and they enjoy that. Well, Oslo enjoys it. Bjorn is just, he kind of puts up with it. But, uh, yeah, it's a good, good, fun time. They enjoy it. And, uh, get a little running in, get a little walking in. I don't weigh myself, which is probably something I should do as part of a, a weight loss thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm real bad about it. 100 people in here, there should be 100 likes. I agree. Couldn't agree more. I switched to farming simulator, fishing plan didn't work. Yeah, that's right. Please tell you which boat I'm using. I'm actually using the boat from the Congo pack right now. Uh, I would be using my bass boat. I, I literally forgot to, uh, to uh, change it out before I came here because I, I hate driving this boat around. It's so difficult to see anything because the bow of this boat sticks up in the air while you're driving. You can't see anything in front of you. Tornado touched down in KC last night. I know, man. Zachary was nowhere to be found. We were worried sick. All right, another air pipe on. They just look like little eels out there, man. This guy looks small. Another young Arapaima. Still nothing on this 14 aught hook. I'm thinking about putting a 12 aught hook on here just to try something different. Just to try something different here. Of course, now we got a. Uh, now we're all scooted up again on top of this. Again. No, what are you doing, he nil? All right, let's try to catch one last fish here. Famous last words, I know. Actually, YouTube Wolf Boy's catching pure IE, but maybe we should go try to catch one of those too. We need to get back to working out. I definitely do. All righty. Where do you think a good spot for pure Aiba is? I used to just fish off the side over here. We can sure we can certainly try that. Like I said, lots of driving involved here. Let's drive on back. We're gonna try to catch a big kitty cat. I've been trying to catch catfish in real life. I put a bluegill on a run and sat out all night. Any tips? No, man. Really don't have any tips. Just keep at it. Keep at it, man. Look for those spots, you know, that kind of have that uh, slack water off to the side or fish. You know, the trouble about fishing around snags is obviously you get snagged up in it sometimes, but uh, you can avoid the snags and still uh, still pull a big cat out of there. That's, that's always good. That's certainly a possibility, too. You know? likes people. BZ, what's your dream lake or ponds for fishing plan? Mine is the rocky coast of Australia for giant trevally, open ocean fish, top water lures. Yeah, no, that sounds great, man. That sounds awesome to me. I, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. You know, the good thing is that a lot of locations that I wanted in Fishing Planet, they've been adding, which is fantastic. I'm wondering if the, the Trier are biting, too. Ugh, Pure Ieva or Freaking try your an air pond. Let's go try to catch catfish. Snags equals huge fish. Indo gamers here. How's it going? Long time no see. I agree. I agree. Shark boy, if you like the video, boost Bo's chances of catching an uni. Oh god, we uh, did not turn somewhere. <laughs> Scoped cannon. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Here I go. The life. The life of me reading the chat and not turning where I'm supposed to turn. 
We're flying. We're flying, Hino. We're doing good. The catfish keep taking the blood, eh? Okay, that's interesting, though. What's your biggest shark? I don't know. We'll have to check here in a second when we finally stop driving. I uh, was supposed to go in a different direction, but I ended up going this way. XD Fire Wolf Haybo. I'm going to sleep now, though. It's 3.15 a.m. here. My goodness gracious. Take off the leader and put your float at three inches. You have better luck getting a unique air race. Is that right? That's all it takes, huh? Taking off the leader and putting the float at three inches. And automatically, boom, unique air pine. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're good. Going to have to use the bass boat after this one is crashed and needing repairs. Yeah, I agree. Done flying that boat around. Hey. This boat is gonna get some air time if I have anything to say about it. It's lived its whole life in the water. It's always dreamed about going up in the air. And I am here to make dreams come true. Oh, thanks, Justin, on 60 FPS. Appreciate it, man. Use the dead Lombari fish for big cats. Oh, I, I, I don't mean, you know, I don't mean to say anything, but my, my cat set up right now currently had, well, okay, the one had dead Lombari fish. Maybe I'll throw it on both of them since you're saying it now. Okay, you got me. I got it on both of them, okay. Northern Pike fishing better at night? I don't think so. Um, give it a shot, though. Never hurts. Who knows? Fishing Planet could have an update, and all of a sudden, they're good at night. Um, that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Boy, this brings back memories. Of driving forever. There's a reason they call it the maze, I suppose. Make a video fishing at Longview Lake, please. There are some good fish in there. I don't know where Longview Lake is. And now we're up in the air again, making dreams come true. And we just rounded it about, and it's as if nothing happened. Okay, good deal. All right, so you're saying that there's big catfish throughout here. Is there a good spot to uh, sit on the side over here? There, there might be. I'm thinking this could be a pretty good spot, everybody. Honestly, this is this is honest. You know, sometimes I look up spots to go fishing, but I mean, look at the map here. Look at the map. I mean, it is okay. It doesn't it doesn't exactly show it the way I was seeing it on the boat, but the boat was clearly showing that the deepest part of this lake is is right is right here. Come on, map, show us. Okay, it's not gonna show us anymore. Okay, whatever. You're just gonna have to believe me. It just showed us that the deepest part of the lake was right out here. I'm gonna throw a big old hook on here. Let's try, ah, uh, dare we. Dare we throw a 14 odd on. I don't know if that's gonna be too big is the problem. Let's go 10 odd and a 12 odd. How about that? Near Lee Summit, eh? Okay. They should add musky to the game. They, they do have musky in this game, man. Let's try out here. Hopefully that's deep enough. Probably uh, definitely deep enough, but who knows? I don't. Throw this out here. Ooh, ooh, nibbles already. Nibbles already. My goodness gracious. All right, already got a first bite. And it's a sizable fish. A sizable fish. Call Zarky. Any good? Uh, we were actually going pretty dang slow there for a bit, but we uh, we just got a pretty decent sized fish on. I really wish it would be a possibility to uh, to jump in the boat. 
after you get a good bite, you know, if you could, uh, I've seen some of the carp guys do that. You know, they get a big fish on, they jump in the boat to go chase it down. Souls! Souls, thank you, thank you, thank you. For the sub, appreciate it. Found out that if you fish off the docks 12 out with blood chicken liver or 14 out with huge cut bait, you can get uni, the spot you are at, can get uni piraiba and bull. Okay. Right on, man. Well, we're using a dead lumbari fish here with a 10 aught. So we will see. The other one's got a dead lumbari with a 12 aught. So I guess whatever we catch here, the next one might be bigger on the other run. Oh, it came up for just a short bit there. I cannot tell what the heck that is. I cannot tell what that is. You just bought Ark! Woo! Derek is the tamer. <laughs> I, I, I just build. That was my thing in Seven Days to Die, too. That was my favorite thing in Seven Days to Die, is that the zombies always came for you on the seventh day. And so, like, building was actually, like, a really important thing to do. Because otherwise, you were going to die. So there's actually, like, a point to me building the whole time. Um... If you've never played Seven Days to Die and you like uh, zombie kind of Minecraft games, it's actually a pretty darn fun game. Zachary, we gotta try to make an effort to play that this year if there's not a lot of uh, Fishing Planet fish to catch this Halloween season. Though I guess we might be going on a trip too, so might might not be able to. Clayton Hill, is how's it going, man? Hey, 130 viewers here, but only 78 likes. What's going on here? Yeah, I may I may not be a Google translator, but but I I can see when one thing could has the possibility of equaling another thing. You know, it's simple math. You see, how I switched it. I switched it from uh, from some sort of uh, linguistic thing to uh, math. That just tells you something about my personality. We're all just zeros and ones, everybody. It's all black and white, just Spock and Captain Kirk. It's just the way it is. <laughs> YouTube Wolf Boy, I was just saying the same thing. Oh, wow, we just shot up to 93 likes now. Wow, okay. Well, that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's satisfying to see the rod. I agree. Uh, I I like oh god oh, we got another one going on the other rod now come on man we got you at eighty I'm very curious there's like two different types of music coming out here. Is Fishing Planet playing music right now? I'm very, I'm very confused. You enjoy hearing your dog barking. I, uh... <laughs> hit something else. I'll tell you that. Alright, I think we got a Pure on here, everybody. It's not a big one, I don't think, anyway. Scoped Cannon, thank you so much, dude! Good old Dono. Oh, now he's taking us back out to 50. He got a look at us and he was like, no way, bro. I ain't going to you. I ain't no hollaback girl. I'm, I'm a big old Piraiba. I do what I want. Us, your car insurance will disappear. Oh no. You'll all be calling Flo. Flo, I need to bundle my car insurance with my fishing planet insurance with my, my boat insurance and fishing planet. She'll be like, well, uh, well, uh, do you have many accidents with your boat? And that's when I, like, get a, like, a montage of all the times I've crashed into things and Fishing Planet and my boat's gone soaring up in the air and... 116 pound Pure Aiba. Well, that doesn't seem very big at all. Look at this guy. We gotta get a bigger one. They're out here. I know it. I know it, man. All right, well, that's 7,900 bucks. Boy, they're really not a lot of money, are they? That was another 2,000 XP as well. So, mmm, mmm, I don't know. I don't know about that, everybody. Let's throw on the chicken liver here. Try something a little different. Did catch him out here, though. That was the good thing. Finally got a level 60. Finally got a level 60. We, we finally got a level 68, man. 
you're calling it right now. Your next two bites will be an uni. <laughs> that will be that would be nice because I haven't seen the unicorns dancing on my screen for far too long. Far too long. I don't even know if they remember how to dance. You know, it's yeah. By the end of this stream, we better we better see some. Is that monkey music in the background? I I don't know. I I don't know if there's monkeys up in the trees playing music or what the deal is. It could be, could be. Love the videos, man. Keep up the amazing work and never stop. Nolan Grant, thank you, thank you, man. I'll uh, I'll certainly try not to stop. It's one of those things where I just, you know, I just sprint full speed like Temple Run and I jump over things and I duck behind, th I don't know. I don't remember Temple Run that well, but you know, uh, try not to stop because otherwise the the monkey or whatever that thing that chases you is gonna, it's gonna get me. But uh, you know how it is. You know how it is. There's a boat that goes through off the map, but it takes... Oh, it makes music. Oh, is that what it is? There was that river boat that went by that was playing music, huh? What a... Oh, man. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. Have you ever been to Iceland, BZ? Okay. I have to tell you this. Two years ago... Let's see. Not... Okay, so let's... Let me rephrase that. Not this past winter, but the winter before... My wife and I, uh, autumn, fall, my wife and I were supposed to go to Iceland, okay? Um, then COVID really took off and we were going to have to like quarantine for 14 days when we got there. So didn't go. This last winter, we were going to go again, except our family then decided to do a family vacation and wanted us to come along. So of course we were like, okay, fine. This year, we're like, all right, we're finally going to Iceland. What happens? <laughs> we, my wife has a conference at like the same time that we were gonna go um, in the UK. So we might be going to the UK instead of Iceland. It just doesn't work out in Iceland's favor. We're just gonna have to go there at a different time, I think, cause, uh... whoa, freaking dolphin, bro. I just saw it, it was like, eh. I can't do a dolphin song. To plug the BZ Hub Discord. Oh, very true. Very true. Come on, man. I hear the beeping. Give us a fish. There's a big catfish out there. That uh, that big dolphin just uh, scared it into uh, into our swim. I know it. So uh, yeah, someday we'll go to Iceland though. By by George. Past the shark fishing spot, then you'll see it as a boat that plays music. Yeah, yeah, we saw it as we were over there the first time. Souls, best way to level up in fishing planet. Let me tell you a story. No, I'm kidding. EESS, Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, San Joaquin. Those four places will level you up the fastest in fishing planet. Up to like level, I don't know, 50 or something like that when you unlock Weeping Willows. But Weeping Willows takes like... Like five hundred thousand dollars worth of gear to even like do very well there. So, come on, man. That's a buy. That's a take. Come on, dude. There was so much beeping there, and yet nothing. What's the deal? YouTube Wolf Boy just got a shark. Good deal. After this day, I'll be switching. We'll be switching to a different day entirely. Coming to the Amazonia maze. Yeah, that's me now. That's me now. This is me now. Bjorn, Bjorn's on the hunt. Lamp gang, I love lamp. I love lamp, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the sub, appreciate it. Oh God, another one. What do you like to fish for the most? Big old carp, bro. Big old, big old carp. A rock, a nice old rock. Goodness gracious, thanks for the sub, dude. Any tip for XP? I want to get to Blue Crab so bad. Level 45, by the way. Yeah. San Joaquin is the last letter of the acronym. So keep fishing at San Joaquin. Um, I mean, if you unlock Weeping Willows and you feel like buying a bunch of carp gear, then feel free. But like I said, it's pretty dang expensive. Dude, you keep beeping, but you just nothing is happening with you and I'm losing all faith. Losing all faith in you two rods here. 
Uh, I'm giving you 30, 10 seconds. <laughs> I went from 30 to 10 real quick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. We're ditching you. Get out. It's a bullhead. I think it is a bullhead. I think you're right. Alrighty, let's switch. Switch to nighttime here. We're gonna switch to a different day type entirely. It's like three of these rainy days in a row. So let's switch to this day. Heck yeah, man. All right, now we're good. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Let's get this boat on. Go, boat, go! See the fake outdoorsman there? He's trying to get out of camping with me. He, uh, he says it's up to his wife now. Otherwise, we were supposed to go camping this weekend, but you, you know how it is. You know how it is. Should make it easier to level so it's gunner. People would play it more often. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly... Like, I was playing it the other day, and I got to, uh... I got to a pretty high level pretty quick. I mean, I was fishing at Emerald Lake looking to go to Naharan within, like, three days of playing the game. So, I... I think you just need to learn how to play the game right, and, uh, it all kind of falls into place then. You only have two rods. Yeah, I only put together two rods for this trip. Only two bottom rods, anyway. We got, uh, we got a couple of different ones for, uh, for this, though. Alrighty. Let's throw on this bad boy. I'm going blood. I'm all in on blood. I got a good feeling on blood. We just need to catch fish first to, uh, make sure that it's... A good feeling is actually, like, a possibility, I suppose. Alrighty. Throw that down. Throw this down. We got a 12-aught and a 14-aught. Better have a big old shark. It is some pretty deep water, though. I'm gonna change the length of the leader on this one. To, like... I don't even know. Let's just go all the way. Let's go, uh... Let's go 200 on the dot. That's a long leader. See if the shark are at the bottom or if they're on top, whatever they're doing. Whatever they're doing, we're gonna find out. You're one of the last Fishing Planet active YouTubers I know. I tell you what, I don't know why you wouldn't enjoy this game. It, it's it's a blast. I enjoy live streaming it just because being able to, to, to chat with everyone. Best doubly shark catch ever. Best doubly, ooh, okay. Sounds good then. Um, it, this is a fun game though. Chatting with everyone and uh, it's always a blast seeing what you're gonna pull out of here. You never know. It's a mystery box, right? We're just sitting here waiting for a bite. You know? Just, just waiting for it to happen. Just waiting. So I got this spot here, caught one shark there. Blind Bronco with the sub, thank you, thank you. Got another shark here. Uh, hmm. Nothing, nothing, man. Main video stream this game, oh yeah. <laughs> Do you think you're catching a flathead using small cub bait and minnows? <laughs> Emerald Lake still a good way to make money? Absolutely. Absolutely it is. That's why it's the first C in the acronym. I'm about to go hang out with you. You're catching all the all the all the stuff over there. All these spots that I used to use back in the day when we first came here isn't doing anything. They aren't catching any fish. What's the deal? I'm telling you, I, I am a big conspiracy theorist that uh, the Fishing Planet watches my videos, sees where I'm catching fish, and purposefully changes it when I put down a marker. Just to mess with me. Just to mess with me. All right. 
Kimosabi. Are you using the bottom rods? Is that what you're doing? Throwing down the bottom rods, eh? I see you. I see you. All right. Let's throw the same thing on here. We're going to throw... Let's see here. I'm going to mix it up. We're going to throw a dead Lombari fish on one. We're going to throw blood on the other. Oh, but let's make sure we got our ringers on here. The old ring dings. All right, I'll throw these out now. All right. Good deal. Can we catch a shark on this bad boy? <laughs> that is another question. Full shark. Swim baits, crank baits, minnows. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. Do we have a big swim bait with us? I don't know if we do. I don't think I have any of my big swim baits with me. Ah oh, man, they're all at home. I do have some four odds there that I could buy, but ugh. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Not a big deal. Have some walkers. Have a flat spoon. Maybe we can catch one on a flat spoon. Let's try it. Maybe they'll go after a spoon. Who knows? I wasn't there that early. Did someone give you a free pack? How do you get to the Amazon River? Because I wasn't there that early. What do you What do you mean? Someone. I mean, we did get a pack for it uh, a long time ago. I think it was. Uh, oh golly, he's blanking. I'm blanking right now. Hendry, wasn't it? Hendry gave us the the Amazonian pack. Pretty sure. How do recipes work? Recipes you save uh, you save your recipe that you enjoy using Other than that, I really don't know too much Other than that, I really don't know too much. I don't understand like the uh, The bait side of it. Someone gave me a recipe one time and I've been using that ever since <laughs> Um, there's some real people on like the forum that like really get into like testing recipes and stuff like that for the carp and uh, Yeah, I I've just never uh, Never had any luck in trying to test new things out It's always been pretty bad. I think Bible trolling boats ocean map this game would blow up. I yep probably so which one do you like better fishing plan or hunter call of the wild? Um, I, I like them both for different reasons. I like the team behind the Hunter Call of the Wild a lot. Um, but I like Fishing Planet. It's just a much more relaxing game for me. Um, you know, you think Hunter, uh, if you were to just stay in one place in the Hunter and just kind of relax and, and, and hunt, I'm sure it could be relaxing too, but, but I don't. I run around constantly looking for uh, different animals to shoot and stuff. Um, just not, just not the same, man. This game is much more, uh, relaxing. Well, I don't know what sort of bad luck we, uh, grabbed or something like that, but we are just not having good luck overall. We caught those Arapaima, we caught a Piraiba. We might just be using too large a hooks, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's our issue. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to pick up. Watching you, best fishing planet YouTuber for sure. Well, thank you, appreciate it, CBR Sage. I like compliments, that's a nice compliment. Oh, why 
why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? No. Oh, right, there we go. Stating facts. Stating facts. <laughs> so true. What do barbless hooks do besides give more XP? Is it harder to hook fish on or something? No, not really. Um, I, I, don't, I wonder sometimes if it's uh, harder to keep them on. I do think that might be true. But other than that, um, just give you more XP. It costs bait coins too, which is can be difficult sometimes for some people. Oh, you and I are favorite you for all I know. Well, thank you, YouTube Wolf Boy. Appreciate it. Did you get to that level or something or something because like you weren't at the Amazon River last time I watched your live stream? Yeah, we uh, we hit level 68, you see? And you need to have level 68 to go to the Amazonian maze, right? <laughs> so that's why, that's why we're there. That's why we're here. That's how the game works. You unlock unlock different maps depending upon what level you are. So it's just a good deal. We put in the work and we got got the spots. Though I will say, Wolf Boy, you are just far more lucky than us, evidently, because we are not having any luck in this spot. This is having a slight nibble right now, I think. But otherwise, there's not much going on at, here at all. Can you cast onto that other bow? That would be awesome. Look at him catching pure Ayub over there. Fish sticks with the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Kanye West loves fish sticks. That's why I hear anyway. That would be that would be pretty sweet. I don't. I mean, I'm sure I can cast over there. I just think it'll go. I think it'll go right through the boat. Hey, stay there, Wolf, you two. I'm going to cast onto your boat. <laughs> oh, he dodged it. Is carp good for XP? Yeah, they're pretty decent for XP. You never got the gray one. Someone at my cousin's school got the gray one within two weeks. Ooh, okay. It's pretty cool. Well, thanks, Pro Fishing. Do you still have the golem lure? Works pretty well for me in certain spots for the sharks. I, I do have the golem lure, but I haven't I haven't tried it. I didn't bring it with me either. Getting me uh, good ideas for next time I come here, though. I found the large minnow does well. Oh, okay. Well, we've been trying different stuff. We got I got a dead lombari fish on this one, and it's it's getting nibbled, but it's not uh it's not getting taken at the moment. Sincerely. Hey, how's it going? Sincerely. Beasy Hub is the best. Now now you're just making me say things. <laughs> I feel like Ron Burgundy over here just reading the teleprompter. Just caught a 17 pound Atlantic salmon right on, Caden. Fantastic. Just got to Weeping Willow. Anything to help me gain XP faster to level 54? Is that a statement or is there a question mark on the end of that, Chase Hill? What are you trying to say? When did you start Fishing Planet? We started it, oh golly. Year, two years ago? January, let's see, not of last year, but the year before maybe? Then January 2020, I want to say. Uh. January 2020. All right, this has been fun, but you know how it goes. Thanks for the memories, even if they weren't so great. Have you shot the red deer gray one yet? I haven't shot any of the gray ones, man. You think I have enough time to deal with that stuff? I I, I don't know what these other YouTubers do, but I, I've got a family. I've got three jobs. I, I do not have time to be chasing down great ones. Two dogs and trying to lose weight. I mean, come on, man. These are real life issues. I'm pa I, I could basically write a country song. I've got lots of jobs and I've got two dogs singing my country song because it's sad. Now we're switching to uh, ooh, big splashes over here. Lots of dolphins. 
Lots of dolphins. Biggest fish in real life. I got, uh... Not sponsored by Bang Energy Drinks, I see. No, that's not the case. No, we do have, a uh, Body armor. Light. L-Y-T-E. That's how you know it's cool. Um... That's how it is. That's exactly right, Carly Priff. And what is the answer to my problems? E-E-S-S. -S -S. If you would all just learn. If you would all just learn. <laughs> That's so funny. Just caught a 20 pound lake trout. Caden's just ripping it up right now. Absolutely ripping it up. There's music. I hear the boat must be going by again. We can never see it. It's on the other end of the trees. Other other side is what some people say. We're like sitting on top of this spot right now. Oh, thank you, YouTube. Appreciate it. Multiple, yeah, I don't know what that kid does. I, I like to think that he just kind of like hangs out in his parents' house or something. That's uh, that's all I can think. Come on, grab it already. We got a fish on. Look at all the splashes over here. Here's a little fish, Naruto, with the sub boy. Oh boy, Naruto sub to me. That's a pretty big deal. Young bull shark, everybody. 159 pounds, $8,604. 3,647 XP. Right on, right on. That's our first shark. Not a very big one, but uh, it's a shark. <laughs> I feel like uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. That's a shark. <laughs> I'm like a little grade school kid. That's a shark. <laughs> oh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Um, <laughs> fantastic, everybody. Well, our first bull shark. That feels good. See, you gave me luck. That's true. You gave us luck. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. So that was with the 12 aught with blood. I threw out the bottom rod just to see if we would catch anything with it. Move, boat. Dang trolling motor keeps acting up. Ugh. What's your favorite boat and fishing planet? I don't know, man. I don't really have one. If the uh, if the last uh, if the last uh, Amazonian maze blue boat had rod holders on it, that one would probably be my favorite. I hate driving this boat, but I like the rod holders, and I like driving the bass boat from uh, Amazonian maze, but it doesn't have rod holders. So there's just bonuses from both of them. All right, I did see that there was fish on the bottom. It was just that uh, none of them was taking this, taking this bait. Let's throw it back out there. Give that other rod a try as well. This one. There we go. Nice BZ. Who and what is Nightbot? Nightbot is just the darn bot. Your actions have consequences. <laughs> it's Peach Mango and like, just like yours, Lamp Gang. On top of it, man. Right on. Any new fishing games coming out? Uh, we got Ultimate Fishing. Oh, there's the boat. There's the boat. They're gonna start playing their music here soon. I'm gonna turn down my music. I don't know if their uh, audio is, is is changed by the music or the environment volume. I'm gonna think that it's environment volume. Slowly getting louder.
I need a whistle, I feel like, to dance to this. I need to feel... Hey, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> exactly. You got it. Um, is White Moose Lake worth going to? Sure. All the lakes are worth going to. Give them a shot. See how it goes. Blotzer Jackson, how's it going, man? 375 pound unique Nile Perch. Well, that's awesome. You like the lime green boat because it's somewhat cheap for boats and just fun. Well, sounds good to me. What's the best place to fish at? Congo River, of course. I I don't know. That's the one that'll make you the most money in XP at this point, because it's the highest level one. But if you're just wanting to have some fun, then I think it's totally up to you, man. It is entirely up to you. Entirely. Okay, so we caught the one shark. So far, nothing else. And rather slow. BZ, guess what? What? What, Clayton? What monsters do you think will be in the Congo? Oh, I hope it's a new uh, big old uh, big old Goliath tiger fish. The the mad tiger. The the the, the ma malevolent tiger. I don't know what you'd call it. Did I miss anything interesting? Dallas Fisher asked. Oh God, you missed so much, Dallas. So much we'll never be able to. T I'll never be able to describe to you the amazing things you missed. Uh I feel I feel bad. I feel bad, but just just for you. I just feel bad for you that you missed everything. No, I I don't know, man. Would you, would I fish the ocean if, Turkey, if you just want to like ask me questions that you know I'm going to say yes to, just keep them coming because it's really easy for me. Would you fish the ocean if they added it? No. No, that would be awful. Oh God, no. Would you like a million dollars? No. Oh no. Please don't. Please don't give me a million dollars. Rolls Royce. I've got an extra one. Would you like it? No, no. Please no. That would just be awful. Oh, they uh, eventually remastered Fishing Planet with better graphics and bigger buys water. Yeah, that would be something. I hope to see that in my lifetime. That would be great. The grind from 43 to 50. Also, BZ is the best mirror man. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> ESS Dark. Where have you been? It is the answer to everything. I am a broken record over here. Just on repeat. ESS. E-E-S-S. -S. I know everyone else is tired of hearing it. It is the answer to everything. Where should you be catching fish at any point in the game? It is going to be either E, either E, either S, or S. That's just how it goes. It is the answer to all questions. So you should be at San Joaquin, in other words, catching white sturgeon. Because there's nothing else to catch that is better than that at that level. Won't let him show it. Cooking, cooking noodles. What is the best way to catch catfish fish plant that are big? Um, just depends on what kind of catfish you want to catch, I guess. Alrighty, I don't know where to go now. I don't know where to go now. Should we go catch some arapaima? Let's go catch some Arapaima. It says this is an opening. The map says it's an opening. Turn boat. That works too. Got your driver's license today. Well, congrats, Twig Boy. Good job, man. There's only one place you can catch them. I know, right? Oh, cool. We ended up in here. Neat. That's exactly where I wanted to go. I'm sorry. There's just so much dang driving involved in this map. And 
and I'm trying to read the map, but every time, or trying to read the chat, but every time I do, I make a wrong turn. It, it is a maze, after all. Could you imagine going through a maze without looking? What happens after EESS? After EESS, you know the game enough, you don't need it anymore. How's the battle going? Any unicorns? No unicorns yet, man. We've got the big hooks out there, they're just not grabbing them. Zoot74, hello, hello. How's it going? For Wells Catfish. I think, uh, get, not get to news. What's the other place? What's the German, the German map? The Carp Lake before you go to Weeping Willow. I can't remember what it's called. Sander Baggersy. Sander Baggersy is a good place for Wells Catfish. Turn! Good luck with Unis. Thank you, Ethan. Appreciate it. We're going to go to a different spot now. Maybe try for some Triera. Tri try for some Triera and also for some Air Pima. Fly fishing a lot lately. I almost caught every species in Lake Powell on the fly, dude. Very nice. That's awesome. I have been trying. I have been trying. I've been uh, out trying to bass fish a couple different times. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to keep going. Supposed to keep going, but I came to a stop. Turn, boat, turn. For ten bucks. No, not really. Samuel Trottier. Hi. Add a river and Texas fishing plant, even though there's already a spot, but it should have unique alligator carp. That would be pretty sweet, man. All righty, we made it. Let's catch some air pima, boys. All right, so we're gonna throw. Let's throw. We got a 12 odd and a 14 odd here. I don't know how deep to make it. Let's try this. Does I get this? Give me a depth. Okay, eight feet is what it says. All right, that's good enough. Eight feet depth. We'll do uh, 60 on one. We'll do, uh, I don't know, 72 on the other. Let's try that. All right. Actually, we should probably make one not as deep, eh? Let's make one 36. All right. We got 12 on one. Let's go Raku Minnow. I'm going to throw on the Amazonian Sardine. It doesn't have a listed, but uh, I just got the bait, so I really want to try it. Let's throw this bad boy out. I wish I could stay, but you're busy. I understand, hi K. I'm usually busy as well. You're at, at White Moose. It's worth it. Well, good deal. I'm glad it's worth it, man. Octuba River is the best for wells. Give Octuba River a try, then. Get used to catching belugas. Belugas always seem to want to ruin your day when you're fishing for wells catfish. Do I recommend the Bass Boat Explorer pack? I don't recommend any of the packs, man. From the very, from the very start, I've only recommended premium. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into the whole recommending packs thing. It's just a lot of money for a bunch of gear that you're gonna end up surpassing at some point. Um, with with free in-game gear, you know. If you were to buy the Bass Boat Explorer pack. And you go and you're gonna go to blue crab you're gonna have a good time catching lots of fish that you haven't been able to catch you may level up a few times too maybe five ten levels if you're lucky um, and then you're gonna go back to your other one the the gear that you got from the bat the bass boat explorer pack isn't gonna be very useful it's way too uh, heavy Casey England thanks for the sub gonna be way too heavy for whatever you're fishing for at your other level So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're not going to be able to use that gear. So you're just going to keep on leveling up, right? You're going to keep on leveling up, working hard, fishing the spots that you're able to fish. Eventually, making it back to Blue Crab Island. And what gear are you going to have available for you to purchase with in-game cash that you didn't have to spend your hard-earned money in real life on? 
A young Arapaima. Pretty much the same exact gear you paid 30 bucks for a while ago. Got fly five black coffee right on. I I don't know. I've never seen that, Bradley. I I'm sure they're already at it, YouTube Wolf Boy. They're already on that stuff. All right, Arapaima. Come on, man. We got big hooks out here ready for big fish. What's the deal? Love when you catch giants. Oh, thank you. Those birds sound like wood ducks. I think they are. I think we got some Amazonian wood ducks out here. Love us to watch you slave and keep up the hard work. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Was that Samuel? I see missed that. Samuel Persley, thank you. Appreciate that. Biggest fish you've caught. Well, give this man an uni. I know. We're trying for an uni Arapaima. Come on, Arapaima. I don't I don't have any more uh oh he changes his name to Flintstone. I don't have any more uh, friend requests open. So that's the hard thing is that people send me friend requests. This is why I always say don't send me friend requests. Like I understand everyone wants to be my friend. I want to be your friend too. Don't, don't you uh, 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 believe I don't want to be for a second? Because if I could be everyone's friend by George, I would. But uh, it's unfortunately not possible. You can only have 201 friends in Fishing Planet, and uh, if you send me friend requests, that counts as a friend, even if I haven't accepted it. So, uh, it's really silly, but if people send me friend requests after that, and I already have 201 friends, or 199 friends, and two friend requests, every friend request that comes after that doesn't go through, because it's, it's basically blocked, because I'm already maxed out. Love your vids, love your channel, land in place. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, the one on the left's moving. Mint Oreos with milk, that sounds delicious. I love Oreos. I have a guilty, guilty, uh, that's like a guilty pleasure sort of thing. With I love Oreos. Don't ever show me a bag of, look at this dude over here. Freaking coming up to the top, he's just, he's just chillaxing. Come over here, you silly fish. Don't show me a pack of Oreos, otherwise I'll eat the whole thing. It's terrible. You usually catch one every hour and 25. That sounds horrible. But thank you. Stripe bass with 36 inches, we'll ride on. Can I send you a friend request? I guess, sure. Thank you, Christian. Appreciate it. From Romania, it's five in the morning. I have to watch the live. Keep up the good work. Darius, right on, man. From, from Romania, where the war, the werewolves and the, uh, the vampires are. Very cool, dude. Very neat. All right, Arapaima. Come on, man. Big hooks. Big hooks for big fish out there for the Arapaima. They're not doing anything. I think I'm gonna recast this one. Throw it behind, since that's where that one fish came up for rare, right? Let's throw this one out there. When are you going to stream Russian Fishing 4 again? I'm not sure when we're gonna stream it, but uh, I do have a video for it coming out within the next few weeks. <laughs> Look at him coming up. What are you doing, crazy fish? Go get that, go get that bait. Off-road outlaws with the sub. Thank you, man, appreciate it. It helped me catch fly, catfish, and gar common carp and American shad. Do you, do you know when mobile fishing planet players can play with PC and PS4 and 5 players? Uh, probably never, honestly. Um, I don't think 
any of those will ever be connected. <laughs> Just because uh, their crossplay right now is is not a thing, and uh, I don't think it ever will be a thing unless they make a new game. Just hate the you gotta brush your teeth right after eating them. You got you have to brush your teeth after eating them. I just tell people that I've been eating Oreos, and then they're like, their disgust with my teeth just becomes jealousy afterwards. And I just go, that's right, I was eating Oreos. And they go, oh, I wish I had Oreos. And I go, I know, everyone wishes they had Oreos. That's that's just how Oreos work. And uh, yeah, that's how, you, uh, that's how you don't care about what your teeth look like after eating Oreos. It's moving. Come on, man. What map is this? This is the Amazonian maze. Terrible but delicious. It's uh super stuffed ones. It's like uh that uh, Lucky Charms, eh? They're magically delicious. Magically delicious. Do you have fish brain? We do have fish brain. Here, I'll just say. Oh no, I don't have my phone. <gasps> Wait a second. It's over here. My uh my phone died last night because uh. Because we had the storm and the tornado, and uh, what the frick? I had you plugged in this whole time, you crazy phone. Anywho, um, yeah, we're Bo Bear. B O B E H R on Fish Brain. Find us on Fish Brain if you wanna if you're into that fish and stuff. Dude, he's literally swimming right next to it. Just go grab it. Come on, man. Getting big catfish right on. Rohan's here. How's it going, Rohan? The mistake of buying the catfishing model thinking it would unlock the lakes listed, but it just gave me the licenses, not the pass. It's just premium from now on. Huh. That's strange. 132 likes. I know, man. We've got plenty of likes now. We're doing great. What do you recommend for the Everglades? What do I recommend for the Everglades? I recommend bass fishing. Catch those bass. Uh, peacock bass are great. Largemouth bass are great. They're all great. Got great ratios. I think the peacock bass have better ratios, but I think the largemouth are more fun. They get bigger, so. Your grandma and grandpa are now stuffed. <laughs> Gee willikers. What is this busy hobby keeps sending me emails? He puts videos out of catching digital fish. By putting it in the dishwasher. Oh, okay. Good deal. That's what I'm going to do now. Videos keep slaying them fish. Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. C. C. Matt. Have I ever caught a 100p fish? 100p fish in real life or in the game this is when that in real life or game starts coming up more often it's always posting different kinds of oreos in his insta that's funny the um often um often a muffin muffin thank you for the sub appreciate it you desperately want to... We've been talking about Oreos. Maybe I'll get sponsored by Oreos. Then I'll never lose any weight. Ugh. All right. My phone finally got enough charge for me to show you. There we go. There we are. Bo Bear. Oh, jeez. What a bomb. Stop it! I'm trying to show this off, getting all these notifications. There you go, on fish brain. Go find it. Be there, be square. All that sort of stuff. I charge my phone, that way I can play RuneScape after this. All right, I'm giving up on this. Arapaima. We caught one Arapaima, and then after that, that was it. Do you think we're just using two large hooks? This entire time since I came here the first time, 
I, I've always thought I was only using 10 aught hooks. I should have been using larger hooks. But maybe I maybe 10 aught was the way to go. Maybe maybe that was the real trick, is that 10 aught is just the way you're supposed to do things. Don't go any larger, or else you don't catch any fish. We've been catching fish, just not very big ones. Can we see your gaming setup? You know, I did a gaming setup at like a... Uh, I think it was my 3,000 subscriber thing. I did like a gaming setup. It's so funny, because I did a gaming setup uh, when we hit 3,000 subscribers, and I actually lost subscribers because of that video. I, I don't... I don't know. I always thought that people would be like interested in some way to be like, oh, this is what his uh, room looks like or whatever. And this is what, you know, oh my freaking God, just exit the boat. Go. Get out, he nil. Um, but no, I like looked afterwards and it was like minus two subscribers. I was like, wow, people literally watched this video and just got mad and unsubscribed. <laughs> I was like, jeez, what did I do? <laughs> oh, that was very funny though. Alrighty, I'm not really sure which sides of hook to put on here. I think we're gonna go with a seven knot. Throw a seven knot on here by George. With uh, maybe some Rocky minnows. I'm not really sure what they go for. La Rocky minnow, large minnow. We'll throw a large minnow on here too, just for the heck of it. Just for, uh, just for the sake of trying it. All righty. Throw that out there. Show me a spot. Uh, no, I usually don't like people showing me spots. Well, sounds good. Or you can post it into the uh, Discord. We always get lots of pictures in the Discord. Baby, it probably lives like 20 minutes away. That's sick. <laughs> well, it was uh, just like two weeks ago. Ran into the first BZ Hub fan. Out and about. That was pretty cool. There he is. There he is. There he is. All you have to do is put it once. I will I will read it, man. If I don't, then just put it one more time. The new version. The new version, huh? Diamond Lion, two days. All because I watched one of your vids and decided to get on Call of the Wild. Well, right on. I, I don't even know they uh, I guess yeah they do do you see that pic I posted in discord uh, I'm not sure which one was that is really you should do a fishing live stream I tried to Bradley I really did I tried to do a live stream of uh, fishing um, a live video on a stream <laughs> fishing um, but no I did try and uh, and my phone overheated and it practically blew up. No, it didn't blow up, but uh, it came very close. And uh, definitely shut down and would not turn back on because it overheated. So, uh, so yeah, ever since then, frogs, spinners, bullet spinners. We're just gonna throw a nymph on the back of this just for the heck of it, I guess. Brain, I liked most of your videos. Well, thank you, Wanaka. Appreciate it. Sun cooked his phone. It's very true. So uh, ever since then, I haven't haven't uh, tried to live stream fishing. I wasn't keeping like it wasn't keeping a good uh, signal either, unfortunately, because I was like in a creek. And uh, and yeah. All right, here's our first fish. What do we got here? It is a peacock bass, a speckled peacock bass. How about it? $3,000, but not the fish I was going for.
do you have to give to a beginner to the game? Watch the BZ Up beginner series and learn from his mistakes. That guy makes so many mistakes in his beginner series, but it's hilarious. And you learn a lot, and then you can do better when you play it. And then I'd say EESS, because that's the answer to all questions. Wolf Slayers here, how's it going? I can't click away. I uh, Believe you me, I am bored as well, Maximus. Uh, I wish there were fish jumping up and grabbing the bait all the time. But there's just not for some reason. Because uh, this just probably isn't the day to fish for wolf fish. And I'm just still learning the days to go out here and fish. You see days like this and you have to think, this has got to be good for something. You know? I mean, all of this, all of this good fishing, it's got to be good for some fish. And I'm just still figuring out what those fish are. Um, and once I finish, figure that out, boy, we're going to be, we're going to be golden, man. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make notes on a piece of paper, though. That way I can keep track. I can keep track of what, what days, what days do really well. Okay, I'm giving up. This is not the day for this either. Well, that's not a good turkey. It's cheaper and the three rod one is only dirt. And yeah, I'd say so. Oh yeah, you going BZ, have a good night. Hey, D12, you as well. Take care, man. Let's go try that other Aeropima spot. We caught the one Aeropima. Maybe it's just a bass day, man. Maybe we should just try bass. Let's let's try let's try a few casts. A few casts for bass. We have to. Look at all this prime bass fishing over here. Doug Doug's first live will ride on. What's your favorite fish to catch in real life? Carp, man. Carp or a blast. Everyone who hasn't caught a carp is missing out. That's all I'm saying. I'll leave it at that. Done better. It took three. Giant uh, uh, killed all the fish. That's not good either. You guys are horrible people. <laughs> Find their most active at 9 p.m. My goodness. Night owls. A bunch of night owls. And we got a, a papa here. Big ol' Papa, good deal. I like it when you call me up, Papa. All right. Been playing Fishing Planet Mobile, it's pretty fun. Well, good deal, man. Fishing Planet Mobile is fun. Don't you get me wrong. Uh, it's the uh, it's the rod stands and all that sort of stuff that need help. The rod stands need help. And logging in and logging out and that sort of thing. Boy, we literally casted it, even though I was casting to the left of it, it landed right on top of that stick. Go to Marone River. A <gasps> new. No. You go to Marone River. See you next stream. Hey, Maximus, sounds good, man. Well, very cool. I have caught trout in real life. Up when we were in uh, Utah, my wife and I on my uh, on were uh, on our 
um, honeymoon. We traveled around the United States and uh, made a stop in Utah and did some trout fishing. Some fly fishing for trout and caught some rainbows and some browns and whatnot. Really underrated fish, they really are. So you have to be careful, but it's still fun. Heck yeah, man. With carp that big, I don't know why you'd even keep bass fishing, man. That's what I love to hear, though. <laughs> Dude, there's like some six-pound bass in there, but it's so difficult because every time you like end up hooking into like a like a 30-pound grass carp, and it's like, oh. Yeah, I would be much happier with a 30-pound grass carp than a freaking six-pound ditch pickle. Some more of the wood ducks, eh? To go on my Xbox when I'm playing fishing pond on my man, man, I went to just my second or old account and turn out I was. That did not make any sense at all. Well, right on. Level 18. That works. All right, we're moving. It's 10:20. 10:20. It's it's uh it's almost nine o'clock for me. Do I have a favorite catfish? Ooh, like overall. Hey, this boat, I'm telling you, it just does weird things on this map. I swear it's hitting the bottom or something. Alrighty, let's do this again. I'm starting to think that maybe the 14 knot's just too big. I might change my mind about that, but until then, let's try, uh... Let's try this again, eh? Oh. Come on. All right, throw this Raku minnow out there. I'm back from eating. Ty is back from eating. Good deal, Ty. And bow fishing call a while. I, I had talked to uh, TK about that. Yeah. As we were talking about Mississippi, how it would be kind of fun to go around there and shoot like silver carp or something like that. Because I always pictured bow fishing as more of like bow hunting for fish. Um, I don't think it's really fishing. It's just the only thing fishing about it is that you're shooting fish. <laughs> Other than that, you're, you're just hunting. So, uh... That's my feelings about that. So I think it's more of a, a hunter or call of the wild sort of thing for them to add. I think it would be pretty sweet though. Great tonight and you're glad to be back. Well, Carson Murphy, absolutely, man. Well, congrats. Ser serving the big, the big USA. Good deal. When I play fishing by Off-Road Outlaws. Well, thank you, appreciate it. Pro fishing's taking off. Take care, man. Next week, see you later. See ya, turkey. Went banker at level 24. I'm stuck at low level places. Any tips on how to get back to higher places? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish for fish for the walleye until you, uh, or if you can go to Naharan and fish for bass there or something. Um, and then eventually make your way back to the Everglades. Fish at the Everglades until you can go to St. Croix. How much money to go to Emerald Lake? I don't know. Why don't you open up the game and see for yourself? What, am, I, am I just a walking encyclopedia or something? Jeez Louises. I think it's like 1200 bucks or something like that. Ashton Clary, how's my day been? It's been okay. I wish these fish would bite more. We're like at prime fishing time, but we're just not catching any fish and it's very frustrating. I don't know why. This, uh, this bobber on the right has gone to the right like six feet, but still hasn't caught a fish. 
Um, we've been all over the map. Arapaima fishing, cat fishing, shark fishing. We've caught some Arapaima. We've caught some. Sh oh, we caught one shark. We caught some. Uh, caught a Piraiba. There was a big splash over there. And we've caught one bass. It's really just not a very good day of fishing. Still trying to figure out where to go. Oh my god. Well, you were in that splash area, and now you're up like four feet. Uh, how's life been, Bass Arsenal? It's been well. Thanks for asking. How long this stream been going for? Less than two hours. Uh, yeah, I read that. Pretty crazy. They'll, uh, they will eat things that float on top of the water. So if that's what it was doing, then maybe, I, I mean, I believe it. Okay. Three thousand dollars, Emerald. Okay. A little bit different, I guess. Use a seven off for better results. No. That's ridiculous. Why would we use? Why would we use such a small hook for such a big fish? It's just ridiculous. We were using 10 knots a little bit ago, catching pretty big fish. But I'll throw on I'll throw on an 8 dot for you. How about it? Unless we start catching, unless we start catching some trophies and stuff like that, not gonna be impressed. Not gonna be impressed. Going to be try to catch some blue cats home. My rods does not disappear over some 60 pound fish, but yeah, it will be fun. Heck yeah, man. That would be fun, dude. Our boat is just slowly sliding backwards. All right, we're gonna give this spot like one more minute. <laughs> One more look at this air pima coming up. Just like the other spot. They come up, they show themselves, and then they don't grab the bait. What's the deal? Oh. Jeez. I caught mine on a much larger hook. I, I got my not unique now perch on a 14 knot hook. Best map for cash, level 20 and fish. E E S S man, I don't I don't know I don't, I don't know how else how else to uh, advertise it. I just don't. Can you guys help me with that? I swear to God, I I I, I try to stay positive. I try to stay positive all the time. And I realize people just ask because they haven't heard me say it over a million times. But it is the same question every single live stream, like 12 times over. What do I do? Do I just put it up in the top right corner or something like that? Wondering how, where to go? Wondering what fish to catch? Remember, E-E-S-S. -S. And I'll just have it up in the top right corner for the entire stream. In one stream, can you go to Naharan? Yeah, we've already done that before, actually. It was kind of boring. We did a stream where we went to uh, the different bass fishing spots. We started in Lone Star Lake and then went to Naharan and then went to the Everglades afterwards. <sighs> it didn't perform well. Having a break will right on. Come here, Arapaima.
Well, he is like just feet away from being taken. The other rod's really not doing anything though, so I don't feel any rush to go to go grab it. Put the information in the script. Yeah, mod, that's not gonna help. You know, the majority of people don't even read the description. Well, there we go. I got 149 pound air pima. Something. In Look at this boat, dude. It just does the wackiest stuff. What is it even doing? Like, seriously. Will you back it up? What is it going on? <laughs> Eat, 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 eat. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, Hayden, thanks for the sub. Uh, I. <laughs> he nailed this fish is going crazy. Get out while you still can, he nailed. God dang, dude. I think we crashed our game. I can't get out of it. <laughs> oh God, dude. <laughs> okay, we broke fishing planet. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> oh, well, that was fun while it lasted. Dude, I swear my clock has been saying 8.56 for the past, like, 10 minutes. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 9.30. What is going on? The clock on my, uh, on my computer has said 8.56 for the past uh, uh, half hour and, and some odd minutes. That's hilarious. Anyway, everyone, I guess that's a good enough spot to end it as any other, since that's the end of the stream. So, uh, what a great time back at uh, back at the Amazonian maze. We caught a we caught a shark, caught some air pima, caught a piraiba. Uh, got didn't get a try here. We got a bass though. Anyway, I'm gonna have to do some research before the next live stream, but you better believe we'll be back in the Amazonian maze on next Wednesday. So look forward to that in the future. If you haven't hit the like button, consider doing so. If you're watching this now or in the future, love you all. Glad to see everyone here. One of your staff and streams are advertising. You just you just gotta show up and be supportive for a long time. <coughs> and be over 21 usually. So anyway. What's the best fish for money before you leave? Goliath tiger fish in the Congo. Absolutely the best. <laughs> anyway, take care, everyone. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next, uh, well, see you on Monday, I guess. Take care. Bye. Bye. As always. One family. Game on.